As pandemic-related unemployment starts to recover, many people will re-enter the workforce starting brand new careers. That's in part to one nonprofit offering training and a promise to help low-income people. As WBZ's Paul Burton shows us, it's an effort that could help unify America. But I hit a wall. And, you know, I'm looking at my kids. I'm like, how can I show them my work? 35-year-old Giovanni Tovar of Dorchester is a father of three kids. In 2020, he hit a rough spot when he lost his job during the pandemic as a fitness instructor. I really didn't know what I was going to do or what the future looked like. That's before he was introduced to social finance, an impact investing nonprofit that opens up doors for low-income people to get the proper training and skills they need for in-demand jobs. How do you actually get people who've been shut out of the system, get the skills to participate um, in, in the economy? Social Finance has four different training programs, three in technology disciplines and one in diesel mechanic technician training, focusing primarily on communities of color. They're the first to suffer and the last to recover. We decided to target low-income people. And lo and behold, when we do that, um, we're seeing uh, that more than half of our participants in this 1,000-person program with General Assembly is actually um, black and brown. So you really see how um, this tool is really unlocking access for, for these folks. And thanks to its career impact bond, students enroll for free and get wraparound support they need to graduate. Those who are in the program actually sign a student bill of rights that says once they're done with the program, if they don't land a job making $40,000 a year, they don't have to pay back the money they receive from the career impact bond. If I can get this leg up, I have no problem paying it back to the next person that's in my shoes to get this same thing. Giovanni just graduated and is excited for what his future holds. I would like to work in a tech industry, a company that which has given me, you know, that opportunity to work. And an opportunity to do something great. In Boston, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News. Mm -hmm.